boom, boom, boom. Welcome back. Welcome back to Morris's Polo Review. Today we'll be talking about what is on my mannequin. And I did get my grill in. So let's talk about it. <clears throat> this is a rugby edition. I understand that. Rugby edition. So this particular vest I have is a rugby vest. With this particular vest, you usually want to go with the red on red uh, rugby shirt, red on white rugby shirt. But in this instance, I chose not to. And the reason is because I don't know if any one of you have this shirt, but this shirt, that shirt, and this vest do not coincide well together. Now, maybe then when it came out together, Eh, I can say yes, but in this instance, no. Because what I can tell over the years with the wear and tear of these particular garments, the vest is more higher quality than the um than the long sleeve rugby shirt. Reason being is because I can tell the difference in the colors. The fade on the rugby shirt is it's like a lighter red. You know, if anybody who knows anything about rugby know, typically it bleeds out, you know, with the stripes. So also with the stripes, you also got to think with the stripes, the red is going to bleed into the white a little bit in certain cases, not all cases. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so I guess during the duration of the life of the rugby long sleeve shirt, it fades. But the vest, the vest is like prestige. The color don't fade, nothing. So, you know, you might want to look into that for those who are looking to purchase that particular shirt. And I not only noticed it on mine, I purchased another one that I had to throw away um, because the collar was jacked. Um, but anyway, and I noticed it on that one too. So if any one of you have this particular garment in your closet, let me know what do you think about the fade. Is it is it me or is I'm I'm over exaggerating about that particular you know rugby shirt? Anyway, so the rugby vest I trust me I had this vest two times, yes two or three times. But this one, thank God the Dez salute Dez looked out for this one. Um, great price on it. I'm talking about like it came off of the similar line or the manufacturing line at Ralph Lauren. Sorry, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, it has the football. It has the rugby on the side of it. Very nice. You can rock this with an all-white um, thermal if you want to. It's going to pop because it's red. So let's get into what's up underneath. It is a long-sleeve rugby shirt with the hood. But with this particular rugby shirt, somebody went on ahead and patched it. I, uh, they patched it up on the side. But I thought they did a great job with it. If I want to wear it by itself, it will stand out. Also, there is a hat to go with this particular patch, and it is rugby. Anybody who know anything about rugby know back then when rugby came out, rugby had over like 200-something patches that you can mix and match on whatever garment you get. So if you want it on a sweater, you can put it on a sweater. You want it on a jacket, you can put it on a jacket. That's where the imagination of you come in and play it. You can do whatever you want to, however you want to do it, because it's all wrap at the end of the day. So won't nobody have a garment or have anything like you in your closet. You got to think of it that, that way. Also, the back of it, it says New England. And it has a number 10 in the back. But I wanted to rock it like this with this particular um, vest, just in case it do have the England patch on the side of it, which I think is sort of dope. When you're looking at rugby, you got to look at the quality of the garment you have. Rather, if it's a hat, pants, shirt, T-shirt, thermal, Whatever the case may be, you, you're going to get your money's worth out of it. So, yeah, with that particular um, 
garments in my closet. I try to get them as prestigious as I possibly can because if you're paying that type of that premium price for an item, you're going to want quality in your item. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, <clears throat> just speaking on positivity, Sunday, you know, it's our day to refuel for the work week coming up ahead. Um, just have a positive input, you know, try to have a positive um, outlook upon this week. It's going to be a great week, you know. Um, we tend to let the weekend sort of drag us into a mode where we don't want to go back to work. Also, at the end of the day, you got bills to pay, so we got to get ready. We just got to get our mind focused on whatever we need to do and be productive while we're doing it. So I just wanted to get in a little, you know, the little jewel real quick. So let's get into my uh, my grail. <clears throat> so this particular rugby grail piece of mine is, it's a bag. Anybody who knows anything about Ralph and his bags knows rugby is like one of the rarest ones. And with this particular item, I can't believe I found it. Thanks for the oop, bro, Cliff, salute. Um, just want to give a shout out to my boys, my peoples, Pink, Cliff, Fleet, Ron, Dex, um, MK Brand, the whole Rugby, Rugby King situation, ULL, Salute, Big Boo, Ralph Man, just wanted to go and give y'all guys a shout, and all my people, I mess with you one-on-one, -on -one, you already know what it is, so let's get into this jewel, this hot jewel. Also, I will talk about the pricing <clears throat> once I get done talking about the actual grill. So, boom. this here is a rugby by Ralph Lauren. People will say it is a bowling ball bag. It's not that. Not to me, it isn't. I can use this as a carry on if I'm going out of town. Um, uh, overnight bag whatever the case may be and what makes this bag so rare is this and this also this in the inside yes rugby by ref lauren yes very dope bag it has a leather on the top of it <clears throat> No fades, no rips, no stains, nowhere. It's big enough that you can, you know, carry some overnight, you know, your undergarments and uh, deodorants and whatnot on the inside of it. Like I say, no flaw. I think that's the rugby sign on it right there. A little bit. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, yeah. So with this particular bag, oh, online, there is there was one online the woman was actually asking for five hundred dollars for half a thousand dollars for a bag yeah but you know my boy looked out for me he just got a notification he knew this was on my grill list and the price i paid for it i think it was a steal i ended up paying like 150 dollars for this so salute to um, the guy who ever sold it to me. He's in Japan. Um, I appreciate it. You know, I had to jump on this ASAP because if somebody was online asking new it tags $500, you just saved me like 400 no, 360 bucks. Appreciate it. <laughs> so, yeah. Very nice bag. I have, Like I said, I've been looking for this particular bag. It's not new. It's no. There's no flaws. Whoever had it used it. So that's what you want. You know, when you're in this, um, the culture, as me and <laughs> Pink would say, the culture, whenever you're in this culture, you got to understand, you got to, it's a lot of give and take in the, in the culture. So when you get an item, you want to look over it, you want pictures of it. You know, you just want that, um, build a rapport with the person that you're buying it from, see if they have anything else that you might want to purchase down the line. So, yeah. I appreciate everybody from coming to my channel. Like I told you, I'm back for right now. And I'm still on the hunt, still looking. So, who knows? You know, um, 2023, we're halfway there. Um, time to get refuel, second half of the year. Go ahead and finish everything out strong and on a positive note. So, 
with that being said thank you bless you uh tell a friend and tell a friend we almost had a thousand subscribers i've been on the grind so i appreciate each and every one of you so let's go ahead and get to a thousand k so salute and have a blessed day